Hello and welcome. Here's the latest video summary of the week's news brought to you by Estate Agent Today and Letting Agent Today. We start with the familiar story, the intense rivalry between the property portals Rightmove, Zoopla and On The Market. First off, we have Rightmove's half-year figures announced to the city this week. They show very significant increases in traffic and profits. The number of agents and advertisers on Rightmove has hit a record high of 19,590. Traffic to Rightmove is up 17% to a record 110 million visits per month. And on the back of all this traffic, agents and developers have received a record 25 million inquiries from prospective clients. Little wonder, therefore, that Rightmove claims to be by far the largest source of buyer, seller, tenant and landlord opportunities for agents and developers. Meanwhile, there's been more mixed news for On The Market. On the one hand, it announced this week that it has received over 5 million visits during July, a record for the new portal that was set up almost exactly six months ago. On the other hand, the Swiss bank UBS analysed all three major portals and concluded that On The Market was still growing, but its impact was declining. It also said that OTM's controversial One Other Portal rule would have the chief effect of helping Rightmove consolidate its position as number one portal. Rightmove has not been the only industry company reporting to its shareholders in the past week. Three other big names have been doing the same. Foxton's produced the worst figures caused by its exposure to the challenging prime central London market. It suffered a 21% fall in pre-tax profits, while its sales commissions plummeted by almost 11%. There was no such bad news for shareholders of Connells. The Connells Group, which includes surveying, valuation and mortgages, as well as sales and letting agencies, announced a sharply increased pre-tax profit of over £27 million. An already good year for Connells got a lot better in June, when its estate agency division recorded a stunning 27% increase in sales agreed compared to the same month last year. Also reporting to shareholders this week was Paragon, the specialist buy-to-let mortgage lender. Its figures give an interesting insight into the relative health of the private rental sector. The company's pre-tax profits rose by over 10%, but most remarkable was its increase of no less than 66% in the volume of buy-to-let mortgages it completed. Still with the lettings industry, there's been another acquisition by the Romans Group. This time it snapped up Atlantis, an independent lettings and sales agency with eight offices. What makes this so interesting is its hefty price tag of five million pounds. Other agency news this week includes a third North London office being launched in the next few weeks by Anthony Pepe. And anger by the KIS agency in the north of England about a lack of action against rogue letting agents that have not signed up to a mandatory redress scheme. Now, let's look at the housing market. At last, after seven years, it looks as if average house prices have reached the level they enjoyed just before the downturn in 2008. Figures from the Land Registry say the typical home in England and Wales is back to 2008 levels, although transaction volumes are still down. London, of course, has been seeing prices well above pre-downturn levels for several years, but this week there was a new record. An apartment in Mayfair has been sold off plan for £7,000 per square foot, the highest figure achieved in 2015 so far. Congratulations tonight, Frank and Weatherall agencies for getting that deal. And finally, the naked truth about a tenancy dispute. A couple in Hertfordshire bought a chalet at a naturist park back in 1992 and say they spent over £100,000 improving it. But recently they were faced with eviction because the park owners had the barefaced cheek to say the property had become out of keeping with the park. The dispute has gone all the way to the Court of Appeal, which this week ruled that the chalet could not reasonably be moved out of the park and the couple could stay. So that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching our video. We'll be back again next week, but if you want to keep up to date in the meantime, Check in every day to read the news from Estate Agent Today and Letting Agent Today. See you next time.